we have to wind up uh, listening skills today, right? Uh, B division, A division children, please tell me whether we did types of listening. Because Saturday I had a class with B division, so I want A division children to tell me. No, ma'am. Uh, we have done till here in uh, A division, sorry, B division, right? Only barriers to listening is spending in uh, B division. What about A division? We have done types of listening. I remember we did Hurrier that much. You all remember? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, after that we started with uh, types of listening, discriminative. Sorry, up this thing, uh, empathic, comprehensive, critical, appreciative. Did we do this? No, ma'am. We didn't do types of listening. Oh, is it? So it will be a revision for B division children. That means I've completed this only in uh, B division. OK, so now we'll discuss the types of listening. Basically, we listen for certain reasons, isn't it? Children we in order to get information about something. We want to talk to some uh, someone about something at that point of time. We indulge in listening. That is, we try to concentrate and pay attention. Basically, when we talk about listening, there are four types of listening. One is appreciative, second is empathic, third is comprehensive, and fourth is critical listening. Now, what are the what is the difference between these? Now, discriminative listening is also referred to as content listening. This is an additional information which you should know. Discriminative listening is also referred to as content listening. What is discriminative? Where you pay attention to those points where which is important for you or what you think is going to help you other points you may just skip or you may not pay attention to it so that is the meaning of discriminative listening means paying attention to what you feel is important and uh, skipping others so uh, Discriminative listening is also referred to as content. That means you are paying attention only to the content, to the material provided. Is that clear? Now let us discuss the four types of listening as per your syllabus. One is called as the appreciative listening. What is the meaning of appreciative listening? You all are hooked on to your phones, right? Everybody. Majority of you all. The first thing that you look out for uh, when you wake up in the morning is your phone. So what is this appreciative listening? When you listen to something that you are interested in, that you like, OK, that is termed as appreciative listening. You watching a movie. Or you are you watching somebody whom you follow today. A lot of people are following YouTubers. OK, so some channels that you have subscribed to, you enjoy watching, you have fun uh, listening to them. Or for that matter, following some religious or spiritual leader, spiritual guru. All this is included in appreciative listening. Whether you listen to music or listen to somebody's show. Or you uh, follow somebody who is a spiritual leader and you respect them and you listen and follow them. They are advised that that will be termed as appreciative listening. That means you are listening in order to appreciate or you appreciate. Hence you listen. Is that clear? Everybody. Yeah, everybody knows the meaning of appreciation, right? I, I hope there is nobody who doesn't. Know the meaning of appreciation. I hope there is no one like that. Appreciate karna kisi ki uh, kisi ko sarahana, what you call in Hindi. To appreciate someone, to consider them in high regard. That is called as appreciation. So that kind of uh, listening is termed as appreciative listening. You're listening in order to appreciate or you listen to them because you appreciate it. OK, that is called as. So that is why examples are given here. So just go through the same. Then there is something called as empathic listening. Now this we have spoken about quite a few times, even when I discussed consideration as one of the seven C's of communication. What is the meaning of consideration? When you put yourself in somebody else's position or place, feel their pain, it is termed as consideration. Remember, 
I had told you uh, about the difference between sympathy and empathy. By now, I hope everyone knows the difference between sympathy and empathy. Sympathy is standing afar, standing at a distance, feeling bad for someone. That would be sympathy. That's it. You're pitying someone, showing daya, maya, whatever. What is empathy on the other hand? Empathy would be where you put yourself in that person's place and you experience or feel the pain that they are feeling. That would be termed as empathy. I've given you, I've told you this proverb quite a, a lot of times. That is only the wearer knows where the shoe bites. Correct? Everybody does not experience. See, for you, it might be an ordinary uh, shoe bite. When somebody is walking, somebody complains. It's a simple example. They'll complain. It's just a shoe bite for you. But for the person who's experiencing that pain is not able to walk. Maybe the skin has got peeled off person is not able to walk only that person who's suffering at that point of time knows that pain so whenever somebody complains of a particular pain we always feel they're just complaining about uh, small things and you know, trivial issues complaining about them and making a fuss about it it's not like that children when you experience that particular pain you feel it's a bigger pain like if somebody has a headache you say just for a headache this person is creating a ruckus it's not like that again for you, it is an ordinary headache, but somebody, it might uh, cause them a lot of trouble. So, uh, empathic listening would be when you are trying to listen to somebody out of empathy. You are putting yourself, you are thinking, okay, the speaker is speaking to us. If how, uh, uh, how about the role reversal? If I were in that speaker's place, how would I feel if nobody listened to me? So, you listen to that person. Understand? So you listen to that person because you are feeling the pain of that person, the trouble that the speaker is taking. And you listen to that speaker because of that. So you are trying to understand the uh, perspective of the speaker, trying to understand the feelings, the uh, concern from the point of view of the speaker. Everybody understood the difference between appreciative and empathic. Yes. So everybody is sleeping or what? No, ma'am. Yeah, Omkar, then why aren't you all responding? Respond fast. Yes, ma'am. Don't sit like Nirguna Brahmam. Some of them have just woken up, I think. Yes, ma'am. Right? This is the first time I'm taking 818 lecture in your class, I guess. Because every day I have 818 lecture in IT uh, or uh, BMS. But the first time that I'm taking 818 in BCom and half the crowd is sleeping. Now I got to know 818 you all are sleeping. Good, I don't have 818 lecture every day. I usually have 9, 6 or uh, 10, 24 lecture. So that I'm happy with that time slot. I don't uh, want to see sleepy children in the class. I don't want to hear them. Okay. Next we come to comprehensive listening now currently what you're doing is a good example of comprehensive listening when you're trying to listen to a lecture you know, and somebody's trying to explain something to you you know you want to travel somewhere somebody's guiding you you know go there or somebody is uh, guiding you with some shop where you can buy some stuff you know what you want to buy uh, so when somebody guides you like that that would be termed as comprehensive listening so you are uh, listening over there so that somebody is uh, guiding you. Somebody is giving you some information. So you are trying to. Isn't it Chetan? Chetan, please unmute. I think your mother was uh, it was your mother, right? Chetan? Chetan is shocked. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, what was happening, Chetan? No, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not sure.
on again in my okay i thought you started it and your mother is listening to the lecture no ma'am <laughs> okay ma'am aaj bimar tha isliye room mein hi baitha tha isliye ha acha kya hua ma'am ma'am pair bhi dukh rahe bahar gaya tha na kal isliye ha acha to take Haan. care ha ah. okay so we're talking about comprehensive listening that is when you listen in order to get information so like i told you like currently what you're doing can be an example of comprehensive listening listening to a lecture you getting some information about a particular shop that you want to buy certain things from or you want to move uh, to a place you want to travel and uh, you want the directions to go there so here you are actively involved in the process of listening because you are getting information you might have sought for that information or you want to get that information gain the information so you are focused on that so it becomes active listening okay so uh, at this point of uh, time you should be taking down notes and everything there are a lot of children even during regular class you know they take down notes and uh, last year uh, during online class also see normal classes there are children who take physical classes but when it comes to online class also last year there was a child who used to take down notes and who used to post it in the group so there are some such children as well those who are paying attention to it so comprehensive listening is uh, this kind of listening where you are getting information if you try you will definitely understand okay that also you have to remember so you can't say that i can't understand anything if you are trying if you try hard you will be able to understand next we have evaluative listening or critical listening so uh, for example you want to buy some products so you all we don't go ahead and buy randomly acha ye dekh liya liya we compare right uh, we uh, consider the budget uh, we consider uh, the features i'm talking about any product that you're talking about especially electronic items so you consider the budget what is your budget very important then that budget range uh, what uh, what are the features that you're looking for which uh, supposing it's a phone which phone offers you the best features okay or majority features are covered so you opt for th that way so that would be called as evaluative listening critical listening or comparing seeing what are the pros and cons and then uh, decide to go ahead and buy a particular product are you understanding children so this would be called as a as critical listening like you want to watch a show your fr different friends will give you different opinion then you weigh the pros and cons and then decide which movie i should go and watch that way so that is called as critical listening everybody is clear yes ma'am yeah so these are the four types of listening appreciative where you listen in order to appreciate what people are doing that would be called as appreciative listening because you appreciate things you are watching them you are following them you are listening to their lecture whatever then you have empathic you're putting yourself in that speaker's place understanding their pain and then uh, you go ahead and listen because you know that you wouldn't like anybody to uh, you know disrespect or disregard you just like uh, uh, what do you call you shouldn't be doing it so that is called as empathic listening showing empathy third we have uh, comprehensive listening like currently what you are doing in order to gain information and knowledge when you pay attention that becomes comprehensive and then you have critical where you have to weigh the pros and cons the merits and the demerits and then you go ahead and buy something so best example is when you want to buy something you weigh the pros and cons you want to watch something you want, you weigh the pros and cons which movie is better like this weekend where should i go which resort should i go to for a weekend so when you're comparing all these things that will become critical listening 